Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to Jibby's Garage. Um, today, I've got a little fun activity. We're going to learn how to knock out a garage wall and get it replaced. Um, so I'm going to go over kind of some of the steps I've taken already. Um, I'm kind of a little bit ahead of what I would like to have shown you, but um, in order to save time and um, video content, I went ahead and did knock some things out. So I'm just going to go over some of those things with you real quick. All right. So actually, let's look at the how or the garage now. So I've done a few things, gotten some uh, house wrap up here on the front. I think I've gone over the door and stuff like that. That was a long time ago, but we got handles and locks and all that stuff. Um, and that's probably honestly about it. I did a lot of cleaning up on the inside here um, to prepare for sheetrock. There's just like some nails and other junk that was kind of sticking out and that it would impede the uh, sheetrock from um, being able to mount. And then last night I got this done. So what I did was you can see I did like half the wall here. I kind of did it in half and half. Um, let me turn my lights on real quick. Uh, that didn't help a whole lot, but um, you can see here. So I took this saw and I had cut this beam. Um, I have termite damage. That's why I'm doing all this crap. So here is like an example of some of the damage that has happened and like right there like you just can't have that stuff um, supporting your frame so that's coming out and so I had sawed that out um, used the saw basically to cut the whole wall out and during this process I um, had some beams going up and supporting the load of the roof because um, these beams were getting cut out so something needed to kind of support the load that was coming down from here um, I have a some longer ones are there but I kind of um, screwed them into the here so that they it wouldn't sag at all as well as I would kind of wedge some other beams as I worked to this side over um, so um, I got pressure treated wood in here you got to have ground contact pressure treated wood for the bottom um, especially to resist uh, moisture and weathering and bugs and things like that and I am building everything to be as airtight as possible. Um, the last wall that was put in here was very shabby. Um, you could feel drafts coming in and out of it. And um, like this wall I kicked down last night, um, it had those foam boards over there, like R R40 or something foam insulation. And they were going horizontal here, okay, with that siding on it. I literally took my foot and kicked it and it all fell off. That's how bad this um, structure was built. So now we come over here to what I've done. I mean, it's not going to go nowhere. I have construction adhesive on my seals so that bugs aren't going to crawl up through. Drafts aren't going to get through. Um, I think this was like a necessary step for what I'm trying to accomplish. Some people might think it's a little overkill. I think it's completely normal, but um, so construction adhesive, sealing the cracks of where drafts could come through. This one isn't mounted because I'm going to be replacing the top plate that stretches over to here. So I didn't completely mount this board yet because as you can see, there's tons of damage on this top plate. So I'm gonna be replacing this and cutting this out and this whole entire wall should be about brand new by the time we're done. Um, and I also ordered a window for up there for that frame. Um, initially, I was not gonna do that. But as I've been in here over the few months that I've owned the garage, I have found that I would kind of like some natural light coming from that area. Um, Cause the only, time, the only place I'm gonna have natural light coming in is from two windows over here and then that um, window on the door. So I went ahead and opted in, got the window up there, and I'm going to modify um, the roof, I think. I think I'm gonna put a little slant down kind of from where that frame is, and I might actually bring the frame down four or five inches um, so that it brings in more light because it is impeding the place where I would put my sheetrock up there for the top of the ceiling. So I'll work on that when I get to it, but for now we're gonna work on just getting the frame up, 
getting some OSB up, making sure the demo's done, yada yada. But yeah, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go the whole way. I think I'm just gonna go to right here and put in top plate all the way from where the stud is. So I think that'll work. I just wanted to get the rot and crap out of the way. And then most, all of this down will come, but I think there's not really too bad damage up here. So I'm just gonna let it be so it's a lot of work to do the top plates and I don't think it's worth it on that point there. So, yeah.
All right, guys, so the camera died, so I had to throw it on the charger, but I had to continue working because I'm trying to get this done. Um, so I think we left off somewhere where I was taking the top plate off here. So I did that repair and then cut all of the rest of the wall out. And I have put in the bottom plate as well as bolt it down and construction adhesive for the bottom to seal it out. So that's what's happened so far. Um, now we're gonna start building the wall and that's about it. Alright, so uh, frame's done. I'm pretty happy with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock up these uh, two pieces of OSB to get the wall covered. So uh, that'll be good. Um, so that means this entire wall and every stud, including the bottom plate and the vertical studs, have been replaced. So that should eliminate most of the structural integrity um, disputes with the termites, I guess. So, um, yeah, so we'll put these uh, two pieces of uh, OSB on and we're gonna call it a day here on Jibby's Garage. And maybe I'll come back tomorrow with something I don't know yet because Chiefs play, that's pretty, um, pretty big priority. So we'll see what happens. Um, maybe after the game or something, I'll crack down on some stuff and maybe I'll do a video on something, but we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Be sure to uh, like, comment, or subscribe. I do appreciate comments. I like suggestions and things like that. So take it easy.